Can I help you? I'm gonna look around. Hey, Deacon. Hey, Alka. Just something? see him what you got. That's a good one. Here you go. Good piece. Should help out in the shit. This will do you good out there. Thanks. That right there, good piece. You could use a gun like that. Should keep you pretty safe out there. Find me if you need anything else. You want anything else? Come see me. Hey, a deacon, right? Hey, Zanny. We're gonna run out of this someday, you know. Come back soon. Hey, see you, Deke. Bet you're here for your bike, right? Hey, Zanny. Keeping your hands clean. Springs. Yeah, yeah, I know where that is. Hey, Boozer, you there? Yeah, Deke. I just caught a break. That Nero radio might actually be useful. I know where they're going tomorrow. Wait, I thought you said you couldn't take them on. No, I can't, but with a little luck, I can get to their chopper without being seen and... Give them hell, brother. Remember what Jack used to say? Don't ride faster than your guardian angel can fly. Like I said, Jack used to say a lot of stupid shit. Deacon out. All right, let's go see what the hell Nero is up to. Now, Brian, I got some questions for you. Oh, Jesus, something went down. Wonder if the poor bastards had anything worth looking for.
Huck, yeah, I'm here, and I'm guessing you got another job for me. So, okay, I'll stop by, digging out. Boozer says that I shouldn't come up here anymore. He keeps asking me what goods I'd do, and, and maybe he's right. I don't know. He got hurt pretty bad the other day. We ran into some rippers who burned the hell out of his arm, and it looks pretty bad. I broke into one of those, uh, uh, what the hell do you call them, the mobile medical units, and I got them sterile bandages. And I hope it's enough, you know, but... Boozer, you know, he says he's fine, but I, I don't, I don't think so. Shit looks pretty bad to me. See, the thing is, it was on me. I risked his life for a bike part. Goddamn bike part. Not that it mattered, son of a bitch Copeland parted it out anyway. <sighs> Took me a year to put that bike together. You would have liked it. It's not as nice as the one that I taught you to ride on, but it got me around. You remember that tank that you had painted for me? Oh, well, that was the only thing left of that old hog, and now it's gone, too. As soon as I get it back together, I, my bike, I mean, and get Boozer patched up, we're going to ride north. Fresh start. Yeah, a lot of memories around here. Too many. Anyway, I guess I'm just saying that, uh... I might not see you again, you know?
stop on our way back. A couple of sample traps I want to check. Hey, Doc, how long before your job's done? I'm not a doctor. I keep telling you that. Sorry, Lieutenant O'Brien. How long are we going to be here? Okay, Doc. The lieutenant, they'll become carry on yourself. Only animals can become carry in normal not humans. You guys check the perimeter, right? Yeah, it's clear. <laughs> Where you poor son of a bitch, at least you weren't torn apart by freaks. If you lived a few more weeks, you might have become one yourself. I wouldn't have happened something. Uh-uh. Uh-uh. Come on, stay back. I just want to talk. Uh, Nero Protocol 2-7 states clearly that, that if conducting operations in quarantine zones, that if I encounter any civilians or sub... sub Civilians that I'm forbidden from making contact. Really? See, that sounded to me like making contact. Yes. Yes, it did. You're alive. Yes. I am. How? How are you alive? Or what? I, I don't understand. Okay. You were there that night. Farewell. The next night, uh, with Nero Protocol 2 7 states. Were the Everyone was dead. Two they were slaughtered, seven. torn limb Nero from goddamn limb. Protocol All right, listen up. We're going to do this the easy way or the hard way. The easy way, we have a little chat. You give me the information that I need, and then you go back to digging your way through freaker shit or whatever the hell is you're doing out here. The hard way. I crack open that little spacesuit, and then we see what your friends out there have to say about you breathing in all this contaminated air. So, what's it going to be, O'Brien? <laughs> Yes? Okay? Okay? You remember the rooftop of the old brewery? I put a woman on your chopper, she was wounded. Yes. I remember. A, a knife wound. She, she was cut pretty bad. I went to the refugee camp that you said you were taking her to. Everyone was dead, so I'm gonna ask you again. How did you survive? We weren't there. We were diverted south to another camp. Like you said, the camp in Belknap was overrun, so they moved us south to a camp outside of Silver Lake. Were there survivors? You mean now? I don't know. I, I was transferred to the research unit. Did she survive? Oh, wait, 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 wait. I, 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 I can find out. I, I can check. You, you have one of our radios. That's how you... Uh, I, I can't promise anything, but... I'll check. Uh -huh, and I'm gonna go with you. No, you, you can't. Please, you don't. Hey, don't understand. I'll fucking shoot you. Not before I shoot you. Okay, look. If you're gonna fucking kill me, do it. Okay? I did my job. Did the woman, your wife? I put her on oxygen. I gave her an IV. I kept her alive. I got in a lot of trouble for that. She was septic. She wasn't gonna make it. But I got another mass unit. I saved her goddamn life. O'Brien, <sighs> report. I have to go. Please, uh, you have to get out of here. You don't know these men. You don't know Ryan, what they're capable of. If I don't hear from you, 
I don't care how long it takes. I'm gonna track you down. And I'm gonna do a lot worse than snap off an antenna. I'm sorry about your wife. But you're not the only one who lost someone that night. Man, um, a few days ago, I asked you if you remembered that Nero asshole, O'Brien. Uh, yeah, Dick, it's, it's all kind of a blur. Yeah, yeah, okay, I guess I should have lost, but I'll tell you about it later. When are we riding out of here, Dick? Oh, soon, those are soon. Look, <clears throat> as soon as your arm heals, we're going to be riding the hell out of here. so close to O'Leary Mountain. Don't ask me how. O'Brien. Are you out there? O'Brien! Oh, you son of a bitch, you better radio me. You hear me, O'Brien? I know you're on this channel. God damn it. Hey, you better get back to me or I'm going to track you down. You got that? Taking out. What the hell happened here? Uh, wonder if they left anything worth the effort.
I never knew that. So, you want to learn how to hunt? Is that what I'm hearing? I know how to shoot a gun. It's a rifle, not a gun. I was in the 10th Mountain Cope. Don't give me any Marine Corps bullshit. Killing a buck's a little different than killing a man. Or a freak. The best way to hunt an animal is to track it. You gotta focus. And see what nature's trying to tell you. If you look hard enough, you'll see the signs. Okay, then. Look hard. See this pile of deer scat? It's fresh. Yeah, I see it. They lead this way. <laughs> yeah, I can see that. Well, come on, man. Quick. There's your buck. I see him. Now, here. Use my rifle. If you were in the 10th mountain, you know how to use a scope. Yeah, Cope, I know how to use a scope. Easy, easy. Got this. You got him. Nice shot. Oh, God damn it! it wasn't a kill shot. He got away. Oh, no, that's okay. You wounded him. He'll bleed out soon enough. We just gotta track him. Okay. See the blood spots? Look close. Yeah, I see him. And follow him. All right. He'll be slowing down about now. Losing too much blood. We should be coming across his carcass any time now. Okay, you know how to gut an animal? Yeah, look. Cope, Boozer and I have been hunting before. He used to go elk hunting with his old man, and yeah, he, uh, he showed me how to gut a deer. Well, let's just say no disrespect to Boozer, but you've got a lot to learn. You're wasting a lot of meat there. Overall, not bad for a beginner. Yeah, thanks. Now, I'll take back that rifle. Here, thanks. Like I said, Deke, we can always use more venison at the camp. Still got some folks trying to heal up from that Ripper attack. Okay, Cope. Yeah, I'll see if I can remember that. Let me get the gate. Hey. Manny, I'm still not happy with you. Good choice, man. Good choice.
She don't want to run out of fuel in the shit. That's for sure. Thanks, man. What? Deacon. Something? Damon. You got a problem? Cool. Looks like you've been busy. That's it for now. Okay, uh, see you later. That's all I got for now. Hey, what's going on? 